Hello friends, I am Madhura from madhurasrecipe.com. In this episode, I am going to show you a very special rice preparation called biryani. Biryani consists of layering of cooked rice and vegetables together in an aromatic spices. And today I am going to show you my basic version of this vegetable biryani. And I will begin with making masala, which is a base for making this vegetable biryani. And for that, we need to heat up some oil into pan and i am going to start my heat on medium to high and be sure that you use heavy bottom skillet in that goes in oil and we need to wait till the oil becomes enough hot and oil looks nice and hot enough to sizzle up given seeds then we will go in whole gram spices cinnamon stick cloves, black peppercorn, bay leaf, chavitri and two black cardamom. Give that a stir and when you see this whole spices start to pop and sizzle up, this is the time I am going to add in chopped onion. Give that a mix. And I'm gonna cook my onions right till the time they get light golden color. We want just slightly caramelized onion. There you go. This onion looks soft and it's got tiny bit of browning around its edges. At this point of time, I'm gonna throw in ginger garlic paste and green chili. Also, we'll add in some dry spices like turmeric powder and coriander powder and give that a good mix and allow that to cook for about a minute or so and after about a cooking time of one minute I'm putting in my tomatoes red chili powder over tomatoes and garam masala and give that a mix and add in a little bit of water to cook the tomatoes and cook these tomatoes for another two to three minutes uh, you want these tomatoes to break down completely that looks perfect. These tomatoes are softened nicely. Now in that I am adding yogurt and the yogurt needs to be at room temperature. We will add in biryani masala, coriander leaves and mint leaves and mix. so aromatic now from this point of time we'll begin to cook up our vegetables and we'll start with the vegetables which requires longer cooking time so here i have got these potatoes so i will throw in potatoes add in just a tablespoon of water mix now cover that up and you want to cook these potatoes for just about 5 to 7 minutes as we want them to cook halfway through and it's cooked for 5 minutes let's take a look at that that looks awesome now if you insert a toothpick these potatoes are cooked but not fully cooked now this is the right time where I'm gonna add in green pepper carrots and green peas into that give that a mix again add in a tablespoon of water so that this veggies doesn't stick to the bottom of pan and put the lid on 
and allow all the veggies to cook together for 2 or 3 minutes more and while that's going on here I have 6 cups of water boiling on the side also here I have got soaked rice so what I have done with this rice I have taken this rice into bowl and then rinsed thoroughly in running cold water and then left that to soak for 30 minutes now after 30 minutes of soaking time I have turned off all excess water from this rice and after that water comes to a boil we're gonna add all whole garam spices in that we'll start with bell leaf after bell leaves goes in black cardamom cinnamon stick javitri cloves and black peppercorn and we'll add in salt as per taste and give that a mix and then add in this soaked and drained rice give that a mix and boil this rice over high heat for about 5 to 7 minutes till the time this rice is 90% cooked and here this rice is boiled for 7 minutes now let's have a look at this rice grain now you can see this rice is cooked but still it has got little bit of firm texture over it now at this point of time I am gonna turn the heat off take this rice over to sink and drain off all excess water from that after about 3 minutes it's a right time to add in our mushrooms and paneer also add in tablespoon of more water give that a mix again put the lid on and cook for two more minutes and now that our rice is cooked our vegetables are also done now we'll begin with the most fun part of this biryani making that is putting together layers of vegetables and rice so take a look at veggies they look nice they are cooked but not completely cooked and here I am going to add tablespoon of water this will prevent this veggies from burning and give it a mix now on the top of these vegetables I will put the layer of this cooked basmati rice spread this out evenly covering all the vegetables beneath then sprinkle in biryani masala saffron water after saffron water add in 2 tablespoon of ghee then add a splash of water just a little bit then chopped mint leaves coriander leaves and fried onions and start the heat on high like that and you want to cook that on high heat right till the time you get to hear a nice sizzling sound from the spices and this is cooked for just about 30 seconds on high heat now I'm gonna lower down the heat to the medium like that and we'll cook that on medium heat for two more minutes and after cooking that for two minutes lower down the heat to the lowest possible setting on your stove and we'll continue to cook that over very low heat for next 20 minutes and also this biryani is all set to platter let's take a look that's ready to platter mm. it's so aromatic just dig it and you can see this each and every rice grain is separated from each other and this ghee makes it so flavorful 
and that's all this biryani can be served with raita or just plain yogurt thank you for watching please subscribe on my website or my youtube channel to get updates regarding all my upcoming delicious recipes also do not forget to like us on facebook thank you